If you're not doing this, you're missing out on tons of SEO traffic. My name is Matt, and I work with businesses to help them recover and scale their organic search traffic. Diagnosing a sick website is a lot like a doctor diagnosing a sick patient. We need to understand exactly what the problem is before we administer a cure. This involves figuring out two main things. The first is the timeline of the decline, when it happened. And the second is the scope of the decline, what's been affected. This will help us figure out if your site is suffering from any of the three main culprits of traffic loss, a technical issue, a Google algorithm update, or being overtaken by competitors due to content decay, which can happen independently or as a result of the first two. So the first step is to fire up Google Search Console and Google Analytics and figure out the following. When did the traffic loss start? Was it a gradual decline over several weeks or was it a sharp drop? What pages on your site were affected? Did you lose traffic to educational blog posts, product pages, or high converting pages like pricing or sign up? Lastly, determine if your traffic loss happened in the span of a few weeks before or after an algorithm update. If your traffic loss was sharp or gradual across your entire site around the time of an algorithm update and you haven't made any drastic changes, well, that's your likely culprit. But if you're seeing a sharp site-wide decline nowhere near an algorithm update, that's most likely the result of a technical issue, such as a site redesign or a new plugin that's interfering with Google's crawlers or slowing down your site. Now, this very thing actually happened to me when I implemented ads on one of my sites. The ad network was making my pages so slow that my traffic immediately dropped across the entire site. Once I removed the ads, it bounced right back up. 